हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड पॉलिटिकल आइडियाज ऑफ बुद्धिज्म फर्स्ट वी विल सी अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट बुद्धिज्म देन व्हाट वर द व्यूज ऑफ बुद्धा रिगार्डिंग पॉलिटिक्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी व्हिच टाइप ऑफ गवर्नमेंट बुद्धा प्रेफर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट Buddhism also known as Buddha dharma and dharma vinay is an indian religion or philosophical tradition based on teachings attributed to the buddha it originated in northern india as a shraman movement in the 5th century bc and gradually spread throughout much of asia via the silk route it is the world's fourth largest religion with over 520 million followers who comprise 7% of the global population buddha was an original and important social political and economic philosopher and a rationalistic humanistic and democratic one buddha saw politics not as an end in itself but as an instrument that could either provide favorable conditions for individuals personal advancement buddha recognized that government is necessary to provide social order and welfare society and its values content and process should be consistent with the dharma dharma in pali language it's known as dhamma has many meanings but here refers to the teachings of buddha and their realization which are offered as universal or natural laws these laws are not created by buddha they operate with or without him but buddha revealed these laws and recommended that we examine uh, these laws and act accordingly not through blind faith but through a process of rational human assessment buddhism also focus upon that politics must be consistent with the dharma for their legitimacy a fundamental principles of dharma relevant to politics is the quality and dignity of all individuals buddha is stressed that all human beings have an inherent worth and capacity for enlightenment so called buddha nature in contrast to the prevailing brahmin teachings buddha rejected the caste system and argues that virtues were distributed equally and not hierarchically across society the dharma applies equally to everyone regardless of class social status or economic circumstances because citizens and ruler alike are equal under the law of dharma political institutions should reflect this basic truth buddha favored in democratic and representative form of government because in democracy equality is paramount and buddha's own political creation the sangha is governed by strict equality in its rules for admission participation administration and disputes resolution because of equality and ultimate goodness of every individual buddha taught that every persons are valuable of our compassion and at a minimum should not be harmed by the state Non-violence or ahimsa is a natural consequence of Buddha's teachings on the quality of human potential and the basis of protection of individual rights. Perhaps the most direct example of this principle to politics in Buddha's repeated that a righteous ruler must follow the ethical precepts of no killing, no stealing, no lying, etc. More affirmatively The successful leader must demonstrate compassion and care through the practice of kindness, patience and generosity. The next features of Buddha's political teachings is a tolerance for different political configuration and a pragmatic and liberal approach to political questions. Buddha said that good governance can take more than one form of government but must allow for the maximization of individual happiness of its citizens and that minimizes their suffering allow them cultivate compassion patience generosity meditative concentration and wisdom while discouraging greed hatred and ignorance
so in buddha's point of view different types of regimes could be considered legitimate if the spirit of the ruler and the rule and the ruled was in accordance with the dharma non dilesh buddha indicated a preference for democratic and representative forms of government in his teachings and prescriptions buddha represent democratic principles such as citizens participation and the free expression of opinion deliberation consultations and consensus building voting and respect for popular consent transparency via face to face meetings and public debate these are primacy of the rule of law and limited government so we can see inclination of buddhas regarding a republican democratic government Buddha's teachings are directly relevant to contemporary politics and are compatible with the governance of a modern democratic state. Buddha's political thinking are parallels to western liberal democratic thought with its emphasis on equal rights, protection against tyranny via equality before the law and part- and participating and deliberative governance. In this video it's enough. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you thank you so much